How's it going? Yeah, distorting our rhythm. So there are two incidences, distracting incidences. Typical hallmark of a psychological operation. One in St. Mary's, one in Penrith. What are the odds overnight, eh? I couldn't quite fit in Mount Druid establishment because that is under renovations. All one has to look is this quote. He was taken to Westmead Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Well, one only has to travel up High Street to the right. We have Nepean Hospital one minute drive. Yet, he has to be taken to Westmead a half an hour's drive. Quite incredible. Two superlative acute hospitals who excel in trauma-based technology, yet a non-life-threatening injured, alleged injured constable has to go half an hour up the road. So we're seeing at a ever more expansive, rapid pace incidences of police fire, excessive force, all created and orchestrated by design to get public angered, confused, fearing, panicked, all the psychological emotions you could think of. And more importantly, get them against the establishment. We see this time and time again with the big events. This is no different. You'll hear an unrealistic amount of gunfire after the victim, the alleged victim, drops to the ground. So when one starts their journey as an officer, they start at the lower ranks. They are trained on the targets. They are trained for fluid situations, adrenaline-packed situations. And this is not where the training ends. Yearly by yearly, target training, active shooting training is given throughout the ranks on an ever-evolving career. So, these instances of overuse of firearm power is what? It's an embellishment, correct? Drift, folks. 